Hello, I'm Chris Hudson, and you're watching the Shropshire Star's latest look back at all the action from AFC Telford United. On Tuesday, Telford made the midweek trip to Gloucestershire to take on Forest Green Rovers. They were looking to end a run of four games without a victory. Unfortunately, they came home on the wrong end of a 2-1 defeat, thanks to a 94th minute own goal. We'll look back now at all the action as provided by Forest Green Rovers FC. Telford could have been in front on 22 minutes when Craig Farrell fired over the bar after good approach play by Adam Proudlock. But it was the hosts who took the lead, scoring their first goal in 330 minutes of football on the half hour. It came when James Norwood put a cross in from the left hand side and after Telford had failed to deal with it, Charlie Griffin was able to blast into the bottom corner. The home side could consider themselves lucky to still have 11 men on the pitch by half-time, with Ali Bangura getting away with this challenge on Courtney Pitt on 43 minutes. Having already been booked on the quarter of an hour mark, Bangura was very fortunate indeed not to see at least another yellow for this high challenge. The second half was a keenly contested affair for long periods, though without great goal-scoring opportunities and Telford's 77th minute equaliser came somewhat out of the blue when Greg Mills whipped a cross in from the left hand side and Adam Proudlock's glancing backward header went in off the underside of the bar. Telford looked like they were going to hold on for at least a point but they were undone in cruel circumstances deep into stoppage time. The Forest Green winner came from a James Rowe corner which deflected into the net off the hip of Telford captain Shane Killock. Goalkeeper Ryan Young insisted he had been impeded, but his protests were waved away by the officials. So disappointment for Telford, who have now slipped to 18th in the Blue Square Bet Premier table and are just three points clear of the relegation zone. They'll be looking to get back to winning ways again on Saturday when Gateshead are the visitors to the New Bucks Head. Gateshead, of course, are the side that beat Telford in the playoff final in 2009.